So the first thing we want to do is a little bit of a review. So if I write on the board here, what if I give you, just in the class here, two pieces of information about, about uh, a line. The first is I say the slope is equal to 4. Let's just say I give that to you. And then I also tell you that the y-intercept is given by um, 0, 5. And then the question is, on the test or the quiz or whatever is, given these two pieces of information, the slope and the y-intercept, write down the equation of the line. Okay, Just to jog your memory, the general form of what I consider the easiest equation of a line formula to remember is y is equal to m x plus b, where m is the slope, like we've already said, and b is what we call the y-intercept. Really, all you have to do is memorize that, and this is one of those things, you know, I'm going to try to tell you the things I think you need to memorize and the things I don't. This is one of the ones you really need to memorize, and you will by working these problems. So by knowing that y is equal to the slope times x plus some number, b, the y-intercept, you can immediately write down the equation of the line. All I need to do is I say, okay, y equals slope is 4, 4x four plus, and all I need to do is figure out what is the y-intercept. Um, and I've given it to you in the problem. The y-intercept is 0, 5. Um, so the y-intercept is 5. Because remember, if I were to plot the point 0, 5, that's going to be up here on the y-axis because I'm plotting 0 and then I'm going up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the y-intercept. That is the point that the line intersects the y-axis. Um, and you could make a table or whatever the other methods that we looked at and you could get all the points here and you could figure out what this line is going to look like. Um, and you can see it's got a positive slope which means it's going to slope somewhere this way. Rise over run is going to be 4 uh, on the rise and run is going to be 1. So if you wrote it down you'd see that the line would go something like this. But what we're trying to do in this section is to write down the equation of a line and that would be the equation of that line. So what if I gave you a little bit different piece of information. Let's say the slope is equal to negative 7 and the y-intercept is given by negative 2. Okay, The y-intercept is given to be negative 2. Well it's very simple again if I want to write the equation of this line I just say y equals I've got to find my slope, mx plus b. m is just given to me. It's negative 7, again, times x. And then I need to, to know what my b is, plus b. And b is just the y-intercept. I've given it to you. It's negative 2. So this number is going to be negative 2. So I can just rewrite this and say negative 7x minus 2. Because the b here, the y-intercept is a negative number, so I just pop that in there and then I get minus 7x minus 2. So you can see that once you get the, the general um, you know, understanding of the equation of a line, and you know that the general form is like mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept, then you'll find out that if I can give you a few different examples here, and you can see that it'll be very easy to write the equation of a line. Let's say the slope is negative 3 fifths and the y-intercept is 0, negative 2 fifths. Well, you can just plug and chug like I like to say. The equation of the line is going to be mx plus b. m is negative 3 fifths x plus b, which is the y-intercept. In this case, my y-intercept is negative, so I've got negative 2 fifths. And remember, when you look at this equation, all it means is you put a point at the y-intercept, which is negative two-fifths, and then you use your slope to count rise over run, get, get your next point, and then you can just draw your line. Now, one thing I will point out is most of the lines we've talked about have had positive slopes. Remember, if it's horizontal, the slope is zero. As you start to slope upward, like this, you've got a positive slope. Okay, 
anything that slopes up like this is a positive slope. That's because rise over run, I'm rising a positive amount and I'm running a positive amount over to the right. And so when I do that division, I've got a positive number, so I've got a positive slope. Here I've got a negative slope, okay? That means that, that you know, the rise is going to be negative and the run's going to be positive. So instead of, and I'm just kind of making this up here a little bit, but instead of rising positive and running positive, if I were to do this, I'd be rising negative and running positive. So the, the bottom line is, lines with a positive slope are going to go like this, lines with a negative slope are going to go look a little bit more like that. Okay, so just to just to drive this one just really really home, I mean we can just we can just do this one real fast. We can say, okay, let's plot this x and y. Let's say y is equal to negative um, two fifths. Let's say uh, this is one two. This is negative one two three zero one two three four, and we'll just put some tick marks here. Okay. My y-intercept's negative two-fifths, you know, that's somewhere right around here, just below the x-axis, but not yet to one, because remember, it's a fraction, it's negative two-fifths. My slope is negative three-fifths, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down three instead of up. I'm going down because it's negative, so I'm, I'm rising in a negative manner. Rise over run, okay? One, two, three, that's my rise, negative three. I got to run over to the right, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's something like this. Remember, I rise three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, like that, and then of course I could draw my line through them like that, and that would be my line. Now, notice when we did that, the line went like this, which is a negative slope. Okay, so you will find as you start doing these problems that Equations with a negative slope go like this. Equations with a positive slope go like that. 